Hi everyone! So two of my favorite things are food and friends. On today's Quick Fix, we are having both. Lizzie Mathis will be joining me a little later for some Creole cooking. Now we are both moms, wives, and entrepreneurs, so let's get down to business and get cooking. We cannot wait to get started, but before we do, have you subscribed to my channel yet? It's as easy as hitting the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. I have so many delicious ideas I want to share. You won't want to miss. Raising children, guiding, loving, and nurturing them is a full-time job. Putting delicious food on the table doesn't have to be hard work. You know, with a little planning and a little help, we are cooking some Creole dishes that will feed your souls. I have a very, very special guest. She is a host, an entrepreneur, and a, I would say, a very cool mom. Help me welcome my friend, Lizzie Mathis. Yay! Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hello. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You look, you look you so can, cute. You okay. come right over this here. This is my station. Okay. This is your station. I love it. I am so excited that you're going to be cooking with me. I know that you love to cook. Oh, my God. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Yeah. I mean, and I, <laughs> I've seen you have an incredible um, website, Cool Mom. That's and right. Thecoolmom.co. Over at thecoolmom.co, we're all about the beauty, the style, okay. looking good while you're hey, doing yeah, it. I mean, look at you. You know? Trying our very best. I, mean, I heard that you love Creole food, right? I do. I do. I just think there's nothing like Creole food. I right? Think it's so original and so unique. Okay, so today that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay. And I wanna start with some Creole seasoning. Ooh, okay, walk me through. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and put all of these seasonings into okay. this meat. Do I need jar. to measure anything or we're already pre-measured? Yet. Okay. So all of this you're just gonna put it all in Great. there. So okay. this is paprika. Nice. This is garlic powder. Onion powder, nice. Um, cayenne pepper, salt, and pepper. Oh, awesome. and I did want to tell you this, and I want to tell you guys out there too. There's a difference between Creole seasoning and Cajun seasoning. Oh, so, what's the difference? So the difference is Cajun is usually like with a lot of spice or, mm. or heat, okay. but with Creole, it's more of adding like the smokiness flavor, and that's why we ah. have the paprika here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a paste okay. for the catfish that we are making today, and this will help our like fry or coating adhere okay. to our catfish. Great, okay. okay. So I'm gonna make my paste, and basically what I'm gonna start with is an egg here. Next, I'm gonna add some hot sauce. Now this is like, a less kind of concentrated hot sauce. This is like a hot sauce that I would use like for like wings. Okay. Is it more vinegary based? Yes. Rather than pepper yes. based? It's yeah. like vinegar, butter. Right. You know, and it's just gonna add lots of flavor Ooh, to this cabbage. That's nice. I don't like boring food. No. As you know. Girl, bye. <laughs> Girl, bye. Right, okay. So, I would love for you to just whisk all okay. of this together. And again, this is like our paste. So we're gonna add some cornmeal. This is like fine cornmeal. Okay, right? don't get the, gr yeah, don't the, get the, the coarse, coarse, the coarse one, okay. yes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our Creole seasoning to hey, this. Oh, oh, yes. what I did, okay, yes. great. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of that okay. into here. Okay, let me mix that because I want you to get the good stuff. Yes. Okay, I want you to get all the flavors. Yes, okay. this is going to be the trend or the theme for everything that we're cooking today. Oh, nice. We are nice. using Creole seasoning in our jambalaya. Uh -huh. We're using Creole seasoning, of course, with the catfish. Yep. And we're using Creole seasoning with the po' boys. Exactly. Okay, so we're gonna add a tablespoon okay. of that. I'm like smelling it. I know. Okay. Okay, okay. and then I'm just gonna just kind of like do this really quick. And one tablespoon because you're also adding seasoning with yes. your sauce. Okay, your Flavor coating. on flavor, flavor. Flavor, flavor on flavor, flavor on flavor. flavor. While I coat this, uh -huh. okay, yes. I want to know what are some of the ways to be a cool mom? Well, listen, let's just, you know, let's just keep it clear here that okay. cool mom is more so a state of mind, right? Ooh, it's not I as like much of that. like cool sayings and what you're ah. wearing and all that stuff like that. From our perspective at the Cool Mom Co, it's like everyone's a cool mom in their own right. Yeah. It's just about being an aspirational, inspirational oh, I like mom. That. And our thing is like, as parents, we're all mothers, right? You'll always yes. be a mother. Yes. But that's not all you are, is a mother. I love that. So. I we just want to like encourage and inspire. Let me Thank help you, you. girl. Here we go. Moms to also do their own thing and remember who they are. What is your biggest challenge 
that you know comes with being a mom, would you say? Parenting different stages and ages. Ooh. Like you can't be the same parent you are to my four year old as true. I am to my 10 year old. They want different things from you. And I think that learning that through the different ages and stages has been a challenge. And I have such a big gap. Right. Because, you know, Cairo's four exactly. and Cree is 11. Exactly. And like you said, I can't do the same things that I'm doing with Cairo that I am with Cree. Right. Because he's a completely different. Different human being. Yeah. Different. Okay, so this yes, is this looks good. nicely coated. And now what we're gonna do is we are about to fry these bad boys. Hey. We're like doing a shallow fry, not necessarily a deep fry. But let's go. Let's do it. Looks amazing, like it's Ooh. ready to flip. There we go. That looks so oh, good. And you guys, it smells so, so good. good. I smell the like the hot the vinegar. Right? Yeah. Ugh. It smells so good. Okay, so could, could you do me a favor? Yeah. So while we're continuing to fry this, do you mind cutting up some lemon sure, wedges? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, like do you fun. see that? Cody? Do that. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to start working on our jambalaya. Yay. Parte. Parte. Okay, so like we said, the theme here is Creole dishes, yes, right? And yes. the star of these dishes are our Creole seasoning. That's Welcome what I back. Made. That's what I made. <laughs> So we'll definitely be using that again. Okay. Actually, could you do me a favor? Yes. And can you add some of the Creole seasoning to the shrimp? Of course. Um, and we're gonna be making some jambalaya, you ah. guys. So while you do that, I'm gonna add some oil into my pot here. So I have some andouille sausage here, you guys. And this is already cooked sausage. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna brown this up. How you doing over there? This is good. This looks good, smells good. Okay, awesome. I love shrimp. I do too. Oh. I do too. Okay, so I have a question. Okay, shoot. Do you think it's really possible to have it all in life? You know, that's an interesting question. I mean, I think that's how you define having it all, right? I think to each person that it means all is something different. different. That is true. You know, I feel like I'm currently in a stage of life where I feel like I have it all. Yes. I feel like I'm really excited and happy about all the new things I have going on with career and mm -hmm. like, I, it's fun. Mm -hmm. You know, my career is finally fun and yeah. exciting and something I really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. And then my kids are healthy and happy and mm -hmm. you know, my husband is thriving and mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. So I think that, you know, it depends on kind of how you think about you. it. Yeah. Having it all. And what does having it all mean to you? Correct. Now, if you're asking about balance, <laughs> that's a whole nother Girl, there ain't no such thing as balance. I don't That is a lie. I do not believe in balance. That's right. They don't oh. ask men about balance. And I think it's something that, you know, us women feel like we're constantly having to strive for. And it's and not. And it's not realistic. It's not realistic. And you can literally drain yourself Correct. trying to. Get there. Get there. I think having it all for me mm -hmm. means having happiness. Oh, I love that. Like having peace yes. and having happiness, that to me is having it all. One because thousand. you can have everything That's right. and be unhappy. That's so true. And that is not having it all. That's right. But if you are happy, then that is I having feel like it all. You're happy. <laughs> That is a lot of shrimp we have. Yes, so basically what I'm doing is I'm like multitasking here. Okay. okay? So I'm gonna be saving or reserving some of this shrimp for mm -hmm. the pole boys that we're gonna be making next. Smart, yes. I like that. Okay, so you can go ahead and start adding your shrimp in nice. there. Right, Let's and I'm just it. gonna set this aside. There nice. we go. And shrimp cooks That's very good. fast, you guys. Just like literally like I want to say like two to three minutes, really, on yeah. each side. This is like a healthier, ah, quote unquote, <laughs> version of po' boys. The um, but, version, but, but it's also the quicker way. Okay, it's nice. this, you know, because this is quick fix, right? And we have already the fried catfish. Yeah. So just to make it move along, you got things to do. You, I mean, I mean, and you have something to do too, right? Yeah. You have a podcast. I do. I do. So I have a podcast called Cool Mom Code Podcast. I love. That. And um, you're gonna be a guest? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Get her on it. What I'm gonna do is okay. I'm just going to reserve some of this for yes. 
um, the po' boys. All right. Which is going to be so amazing, and you're gonna have to try that later on because I you know. have to move on to your I know your next wonderful, amazing venture. I know, but I'm so glad you had me here today. Um, you're gonna save some of this for me, right? I mean, of course. Because I don't put in hard work if I can't eat the food. <laughs> I mean, of course. No, I promise you that. Sure. And don't do let that. all your kids and your family eat Girl, a Girl, <laughs> I will definitely save some for you. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so gonna good. miss you. Oh, same, same. Thank no, you so much. No, I really thank you for appreciate having me. This was so much fun. You just stopping by, yes, talking back all things. Cool. Yes. Anytime. Cool mom. Yes. You're such a wonderful, amazing, inspiring you're person. Cool mom. And I'm so happy um, with all the wonderful things that you're doing. So keep on shining. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And I'm Thank gonna continue you. Yeah, you with this cooking. jambalaya right. and the po' boys. In your fabulous self. I mean. I'll talk all right. soon. Okay, bye -bye. okay but I'm gonna grab one of these. Oh yes, yes, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, so Lizzie, she had to go work on her podcast, but we are not done yet. We have to finish off this jambalaya. Now my shrimp and my sausage, they are done. You guys, this is not burned, okay? This is flavor. So let's continue building even more to this jambalaya. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I am gonna start adding my onions, my celery, and my bell pepper. So I'm just gonna start cooking this until it gets nice and soft, maybe about like three to five minutes. There we go. Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever been to Louisiana. I have such great memories visiting New Orleans. That's how they say New Orleans, New Orleans. I remember I was corrected right away with, you know, the residents or the locals of New Orleans or New Orleans, should I say? They're like, ah, 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 it's not New Orleans, you say New Orleans, and I hope I'm saying that right. Not only is the food amazing, the people are great, the music is fantastic, just the atmosphere and the environment is a lot of fun. Okay, so this is nice and soft. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some garlic in there, and then we're gonna add even some more heat. We have some jalapenos here. Next. We are going to add the rice. Let's get in there. And what I'm doing is I am toasting the rice. This kind of adds this nutty flavor to the rice, right? This is flavor on flavor on flavor on flavor. Next, we are gonna add Creole seasoning. This is the star of all of the dishes that we are making today. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tablespoon of this tomato paste. So now I'm going to add some chicken broth. Stir this bad boy. Oh, trying to get all the brown bits. Not only is this dish hot and full of spices, we're about to turn this bad boy up. Turn it up, bring it up to a boil, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and then bring it down to a simmer. Oh, this is looking very nice. We got some steam going. We've brought this up to a boil. I'm gonna put the top on, and then I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer, and I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. Let's check this out. Oh, ooh, my gosh. You guys, look at how amazing and beautiful this looks. This already is like fire. I mean, ugh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start adding in my shrimp, there we go. Ooh, and then we're gonna add my sausage. Then we are gonna add my chicken. Oh my goodness. Whenever I think of Louisiana, I always think of um, like a saxophone, you know? I'm like hearing the music right now as I'm stirring this. Let's play the music. You guys, this is looking fantastic. Now it's time to move on to the po' boys. Okay, first things first. So we have to start with our French bread. Now usually with a po' boy sandwich, it is nice and soft on the outside, and then it'll be crispy on the inside, and so that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna add some butter, right? Now of course you could toast this in the toaster, but you will not get that creamy taste on the bread, and that's what we want. This sandwich is no ordinary sandwich, y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it cut side down. 
just like that. <laughs> now, the bread is toasting. We are gonna work on our remoulade. This is so incredibly easy, you guys. I'm just gonna be dumping some ingredients into this mixing bowl, and this is pretty much ingredients you have in your pantry. Oh, you hear that nice sizzle? So we have some mayonnaise here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. Add some salt, some diced pickles, some minced garlic. We're gonna add some lemon juice, and then I'm gonna add some parsley. Oh, you guys, I can smell the butter. Jeez, why is butter so good? Oh, and some hot sauce, as much as you like. <laughs> Then we're gonna add our star to all of our dishes, Creole seasoning that we made ourselves. Just gonna go ahead and lather it up on both sides here. This is the fun part about making sandwiches, right? So we're just gonna add our lettuce, add some tomato, our pickle, you guys, I can eat pickles all day. Right, you guys. Oh! Oh, 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 Now I can definitely hear the music now. Cue the jazz music. Y'all, yeah. I mean. Now we are gonna add some chips to this, oh boy. Look at that. You guys, this is like lunch in 15 minutes. You guys, this isn't all what we've cooked today, we are gonna taste some catfish and some jambalaya and including our po' boys. You guys, this is the best part about doing these quick fix videos for you. I get to taste and eat the food and I hope you guys try them at home too so you can try them out, right? Okay, so let's try, we have the jambalaya. Okay. I mean, woo! Wow, this rice is so packed and full of flavor, just the jambalaya in general, because the rice is just picking up all of these flavors. It is just, it's spicy. We have the chicken, we have the shrimp, and we have the sausage, my gosh. Okay, now on to the catfish. And you guys, we can also dip the catfish into this remoulade. <laughs> oh, it is so nice and crunchy. The flour gives it this nice fluffiness. The cornmeal gives it that nice crunchy texture. And you guys, that paste that we had made, oh, so good with the hot sauce. Wow. I am in heaven right now. Okay, now on to the po' boy. Woohoo! I'm excited about this one. Oh, you guys, this is just so incredibly delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna give a special thanks to Lizzie for stopping by. You know, I had so much fun cooking Creole dishes the quick fix way, and I hope you try it at home. Bye, guys.